So with this new unit, we are going to be talking all about different ways that we can represent numbers up to 99. So in the past, we talked about ways to represent numbers up to 20, and we're going to continue talking about that, but just how we can represent greater numbers up to 99. Let's go over some vocabulary words, and they should look familiar to you. Okay. First is the word digit, okay? Numbers are made of digits, and digits are the symbols that we use to write and represent numbers. So they're made up of the numerals 0 through 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are all the digits we use to make our numbers. Let's look at an example. Right here is the numeral 153. Well, if we look at the digits, it's made up of a 1, a 5, and a 3. Each of those are digits. So this is a three-digit number. We'll be looking at um, two-digit numbers and then talking about ways that we can represent those numbers. So the first word, or another vocabulary word, is the word compose. So when you think of compose, I want you to think of forming and joining together, okay? When we compose numbers, we take parts and we combine them to create the number and form a number, okay? Well, we're also going to be decomposing numbers. So this word decompose means we have the number and then we're going to break it up into smaller parts, okay? Just like that. So we're going to be looking at ways to um, compose and decompose different numbers um, throughout this unit.